In this video, I'm going to try to design this cam, cam using the polar grid paper. And so it is custom to whatever motion we want to have our cam provide. So we're going to start a new design. And right away, I'm going to create a component. And I'm just going to call it custom cam for now. You can kind of give it whatever name you would like. And I'm going to create a sketch on this XY plane. And the first thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to save a polar grid. So I have the polar grid right here. And I'm going to right click and save the image. I'll just call it P grid. All right. Now back in Fusion, I see that there is this is two inches. So back inside of Fusion, before I put the put in the polar grid image, I'm going to create a line. I'm going to make that a construction line. And I'm going to make it right in the center point, and I'm going to make it exactly two inches up. So we know kind of how big to make our polar grid. Now I'm going to insert that polar grid. Insert from my computer. There it is, the P grid. Select that face. And we notice that it is pretty small. So we're going to make it much bigger by just grabbing this outside and making it much bigger. Keep grabbing it like this. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And I want the center of it to be in the center origin. So I might have to move that. As you see, you can move that around a little bit. So the center origin. So I'm going to zoom in here and we'll try to have that cross there almost perfectly. If I zoom way in, we can kind of just see the center of that going right there and the two inches I want to make sure that this is all the way up there at the two inches so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger yet Let's see here it's too big so we gotta have this dot be right there Let's bring it down and that is pretty good right about there and that is about two inches. I do want to move it over just a little bit, it looks like. A little bit over this way. I'm going to zoom in like we did before, maybe. And just kind of get it in the right spot in the center. All right, I think we're close enough to get what we need to do. All right, so you can see that the, now the grid is, is scaled exactly like we want it to be. Now I can click OK. And I'm actually going to now delete this line so it's out of the way. Just a reference line. And as you can see from the picture now over here, we're going to go ahead and start to put our points on just as they appear in that video, but uh, or on this picture right here. Um, but it's going to be different for you for the custom cam. This is a, a barbell going up and down. Um, so we're just going to go to create and click point. And I'm going to place those points where they need to be. So at zero, it's going to be 0.25. And then at 45, it's also going to be 0.25. And at 90, it's 0.625, so somewhere close to around here. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's going to be close. And then at 135, it's going to be 1 inch. At 180, it's going to be 1 inch. At 225, it's going to be about right here. That's another point. And then 270. It's going to be about right here, and I have that at 315, the same spot because it stays flat, and then all the way down back to on that same line here. So now I got my points in there. All right, so now I can go ahead and connect those points, and I'm going to use arcs as much as I can. So I'm going to say create arc, a three-point arc. I'm going to make sure that the construction line is turned off, and now we can create the arcs all the way around here. So I'm going to create this arc to be about the same as those lines below it. A really small arc. And the next arc the same way. Very small. So it's not a perfectly flat line. And then this one to here. So it arcs the whole entire way. Just real, real subtle. If I got to zoom in, I will. Here to here. This one we kind of follow that line. Here to here. 
again really nice and small there and I'm just creating the arcs all the way around Let's see if we can do that this one I'm gonna go a little bit about like that and then I need a straight line do one more arc from here to here okay something like this and then one more straight line to finish this profile and when you finish it should highlight for you uh, now I gotta create a center point rectangle so rectangle make it a center point rectangle and the axle size is 0.25 however you probably want to go bigger than that I'm going to make it 0.25, but what is the dimension we might need for that profile? And now I can finish the sketch, and I can extrude. And I'm going to make that 0.125 or an eighth inch. And I can go ahead now and hide that canvas, like so. After hiding that, uh, one other thing we can do now is we can add some fillets, because it would be kind of jagged here, these edges, so I'm going to kind of zoom in. And I would maybe add a fillet here because I think the cam would get stuck so it kind of flows around there nicely. And any other fillets, maybe you want to even add one up over here because it's kind of a jagged edge. It's not going to mess with it too much, but it helps flow for making that cam. And so we'll add some fillets to let you do that around your cam depending where those edges are at. And that is how you create a custom cam using a polar grid.